when I was just a snotting old kid. White trash cast out, came and lost the fight about. Seems like that's all I ever did. Well, I could have been a quitter and just not give a damn. I'm proud as hell where I come from, and this may be who I am. I'm a dirt track. Just go back to the lake instead. Man, this is our graduation, Larry. What, you getting cramped up or something? No, no, I'm good. All right. Even your daddy's car won't get you laid, Bryson. Look at me to the party. <laughs> Here we go. Get you, Bryson. You just don't know when to quit. Larry? Tell 
Good drive back. <laughs> What's he stopping that your Uncle Charlie's for? I told him I'd bring it back. Oh, my goodness. Wow, look at this. How are you, sir? Good. Good to see you, Ty. See you, Aunt Paula. So good to see you. Irving? Come on, Larry. Stop messing around, man. What do we have here? So I'd show you the cards win state this year. What do you think? What happened to all the windows? Yeah, it's pretty stripped down. Don't even have headlights. You think we got a winner? Yes, sir, I do. Yes, sir, I do. So tell me I'm not going to lose my best foreman to a race car this summer. No, sir. No, sir. I'll be the full-time start Monday morning. <laughs> I'm just kidding you, boys. Well, I don't want to hold you up, Uncle Charlie. Y'all be careful out there in this thing tonight. Yes, sir. Good night. You have fun. I will. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Larry. Stop messing around, man. Be careful, boys. Yes, sir. Oh, hey there, Bryson. Give me next time, huh? Bryson? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got it. He's got what, man? He's got that look. Hey, Ty. Man, man I'd be all over that. I'm in training, Larry. Man, put your tongue in your mouth. What are you doing? You don't never give her the time of day. I gave you the time of day once. Why she keep it rubbing on me? Like a house cat. You did? Man, you did? I don't know what he's doing here. Did he build that piece of crap? <laughs> yeah, and his uncle paid for it. Wrecked the last one. Thinks he's gonna go pro or something. <laughs> pro? <sighs> we can count on it. He's gonna drunk in the clay pit, just like his daddy. <laughs> hey, Ty. Grayson's one thing, my daddy's another. What's he doing here? Becky Fleming's on a date with Shut him. Shut up, Bryce. Looky, looky. It's a little engine that almost could. He graduated about five years ago. <laughs> hey, Ty. Hey, Becky. Right, Larry. Screw this party. Snake's just an asshole. Yeah. I don't know what Becky Fleming sees in him. She's about fine, too. Yeah. Well, she was until she started hanging on him. Man, look, there's just some things that are out of our league. Like, 
like winning the state championship. You gotta stop all that talk. We ain't even won the local track. And that money your Uncle Charlie gave you ain't nothing up to what Turner Auto spends on Snake's car. Yeah, some things you don't need money for, Larry. And you're a better mechanic than anybody they got. Don't you forget that, man. I wish you'd stop saying that, too. Look, Larry. I mean, here it is, right? Graduation. People going off to college. We can't afford that. The way I see it, I'm only really good at one thing, and that's driving cars. That's the only chance I got of making some of myself. I don't want to end up another drunken clay pit. Man, don't say that. There ain't nobody that thinks like that. And forget about Bryson. He's just a loud mouth. Yeah. And people that don't say nothing are pretty loud, too. Let's get on out of here. looking, Larvy? He's looking pretty good. I'm about to wave him in. Probably need to take some weight off the outside, though. Oh, look, there's Snake. He don't even hot lap, does he? No, not usually. Well, good luck on the money run. I appreciate it. Come on, man. You ready? I'm almost done. You like the tires? No. I have to do. You raise that right top four link oh. bar? Yes, man. Come on. It's time to go. It's a little different than a lawnmower engine, isn't it? Like you know anything about an engine. Bring daddy's mechanics with you? You know, you can tinker with that junkyard pizza crap all you want. When you're ready to run with the big boys, why don't you come on out? I might not put you to the wall again. You ready? Yeah. Master's mine. All right, folks, we've got the street stock feature coming out of the gate. Local boy Ty Hargrove is back, and I mean way back, after a bad crash against the wall a couple of weeks ago. He's got a new sponsor, Baldwin, Cole, and Tyler. Let's see if he can get some points back on the board. On the first row taking the inside position is our point leader, Snake Turner, in the number 15 car. On the high side is Floyd Griggs in the number 12 car. Easy on turn one, Ty.
Don't take it too low now. Coming down the front stretch is Snake Turner in the lead with Ty Hargrove breathing hard down his neck. Stay high. Catch him on the straightaway. Don't you do it, Ty. Come on, you know better. Come on, man, get back in there. Oh, that's cool. You have fun tonight, buddy? Do you think you can beat Snake? I was just warming up tonight. you on the next one, son. What you said last time? She's kicking my butt, boy. Well, kind of looks like you're kicking your own butt around here. You don't know nothing about this. I don't know what you taught me. I don't know if anybody's quitting right now, it's you. I just want to stay. I ain't got the right stuff. But you did. You still do. I'll tell you what. I'll make a deal with you. Alright. If I qualify for stay, you gotta get straight. How about that? That's fair, right? It ain't gonna be nothing if I go at it all worried about you anyway. Just not right in my head when you're like this. I'm afraid to make that deal. What? Because I know what you're going to win. And when you do, I will let you down. Hey, 
Hey, Ty. Come on in, son. Hey, Uncle Charlie. Aunt Paula. Good morning, Ty. How are you, son? All good right, to see son. you today. I'll just leave the two of you alone. You have a good day, sweetheart. Thank you. You too. Aunt Paula. Sweetheart. Tomato sandwiches, huh? Oh, she's been making these for me a long time. That's right. That's she's right. a good one. Yes, sir. You sure have been moving a lot of poles across the yard lately. I'm really proud of the job you're doing. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. I sure wish Frank would have taken to this place like you have. Well, I know Frank wants to go to college first, sir. And knowing Frank, he's probably up there goofing off a little bit. Well, know? it is college, sir. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he'll be just fine. Yeah, well, I don't want to talk about that. We've got a lot of good stuff going on around here. We've been meeting with investors, and we're actually going to start making concrete poles. We just closed on a piece of property up the road. We're looking for a man to run the operation, and I told him that I think I've got the right man for that operation. Okay. And I think that man's you. Me? If you're interested in the job. Well, <laughs> well yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, we're going to have a little cocktail party with the businessmen tomorrow. Why don't you uh, leave work a little bit early and go home, put some nice clothes on, and I'll pick you up about 6 o'clock. Sound good? You serious, Uncle Charlie? Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Get on out here and go back to work. All right. I'm going to do what I can with this intake. See if we can get some more horsepower out of it. How much for a new carburetor? Oh, about 400. Dang. This thing can suck up some dope. The tires be another thousand, right? Yep. Well, I might get the money next week. Why don't you just give me what you can on the intake now? I just hold it on turn one, she'll still be in the race, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, Daddy. Hey, son. Please tell me you boys still think about girls. <laughs> I do. Uh-huh. So I'm gonna end up like you? Some floozy I gotta shake. Easy on your old man, boy. Guess who Uncle Charlie's making manager of the new plant? What? That's right. Well, well, well. I'm yeah, proud of you, yeah. son. That's a big mean tomorrow night with all the investors. We're gonna have to get you cleaned up. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah, maybe some with some buttons. Might need a suit. <laughs> yeah, Ty. Hell yeah, with that. <laughs> Come on, Daddy. Let me show what we got, Ty. Come on in. How are you, Jack? Try and get this place cleaned up, Charlie. Yeah, I'm almost ready, Uncle Charlie. Take your time, Ty. A little bit early. How's the dirt business, brother? Man, I can't complain. Been a long while, man. Yeah, too long. You know, I appreciate everything you've been doing for him. I'm not doing him any favors. He's worked hard for everything he's got coming. He's the best hand I got at the pole plant. Woo-wee! Well, you look at that lady killer. <laughs> huh? What'd you think? Looks good, Ty. I had the hell out of this shirt. And you impress him, son. Yes, sir. You just be yourself. You ready? Let's do it. Good to see you, Jack. Good, good to see, see you, you, brother. Now, y'all be good now. How many people can be here, Uncle Charlie? Oh, not too awfully many. Uh, the investors are going to be here. Uh, I don't really want you to be too nervous now. I know this is real important. I know, Uncle Charlie. But, uh, you know, you just be yourself. Uh, just be respectful, okay? Yes, sir. 
this Becky Fleming's house. Yeah, uh, Lyle Fleming is one of the investors. I've known the man for 30 years, and I do trust. Excuse me. There they are. Good to see you, Lyle. Good to see you. This must be our horse, Charlie. This is Ty Hargrove. Nice to meet you, Dr. Fleming. I hear you know about everything there is to know about poles. <laughs> Charlie knows as much as I can, sir. Charlie says you're quite a race car driver, too. Well, yeah, I guess you can call it a hobby, sir. It's like NASCAR I've seen on television? It's mostly homemade rigs, all on a dirt track. NASCAR will do some dirt, but that's mostly asphalt stuff. Hi. Hey. What are you doing here? You know Ty? Yeah, from school, Daddy. I thought you were spending the night over at McCain's house tonight. Uh, no. Mama wanted me to stay. Help with the party. Ty's gonna be plant manager at the new pole mill I'm investing in with Charlie Hargrove. That's right. Yeah, Uncle Charlie wanted me to meet everybody. Excuse us. You look like you'd rather be anywhere but here. Hey, babe. Nah, I just get the feeling I think I'm the only one that knows about making telephone poles. Well, then you must know a lot. I just know what Uncle Charlie taught me. Well, it's obvious you know a lot about cars. I think Snake's actually worried about you. Your daddy don't know you go to races, do we? It's not really his thing. thing about Snake. He hasn't said much. But he knows his daddy owns a Dodge dealership in Atmore, right? That makes him okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, what does that have to do with anything? No, I'm just kidding. Well, maybe I'll see you around the track. Okay. Oh, uh, tell Snake to watch his ass. Oh. Well. well, the late models are about to line up for the money run, folks. Will our local boy, Ty Harko, beat out our point leader, Snake Turner? Well, we'll see. It's going to be a great race. Let's have some fun. big party tonight. Donica's back, and we've got cold drinks and snacks, shirts, decals, Indian blankets, jams and jellies, and left-handed nostril inhalers.
Hey, Ricky. Hey, man, you got a shooter bar I can borrow? Yeah, actually, I do, man. It's over in the trailer on the left side. Just um, whenever you get done, if I'm not over there, just put it back in there. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, Charlie bummed me out there, knocked something loose. We welded all this last week, too. Man, it's always something, right? But don't worry about it, man. You did great tonight. Thanks, man. I still can't get up there with Snake, though. We're going to change out the carburetor this week. Man, it's definitely a horsepower problem. You're getting through the corner sweet. You got the driving, you got the handling. Good Thank job. You. Thanks, Ricky. Thank you. All right, Larry. I'm going to grab that bar and call tonight. Yep. So you're riding down the road. Windows start creeping down. We need some tires, man. Yeah. You think Sherry's here? How would I know, man? Did you really give her the time of day? Nah, man. I just kissed her one time in the back of the Gan Harley's car. Never seen funny. Hey, hold on a second. Hey there, boy. Where do you come from? Because you might take, might take, might take, might take. Hi. How you doing? Hi. You did good tonight. I can do better. Yeah, well, everyone around here seems to like me. Yeah, well, they like me better if I won. Next up. Oh, well, he left already. He said he had to work in his car. All right. Y'all want some drinks? You can get drinks here. I get whatever I want here. Sure. What are you doing? <laughs> Relax, man. Her dad's my new boss. Yeah, and Snake's her boyfriend. Well, listen to you, Mr. Sherry in my dreams. I I'm not Mr. Sherry in my dreams. All right. <laughs> She's right over there, man. She's looking at you. She's not looking at me. She's looking at you. Poor beer, son. You can just keep that. I'm going over there, man. Keep her some company. That's right, man. One for her, one for you. That's how it works. Want to dance? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. Maybe I spoke too soon. Before I said yes, I should have thought it through. And then you leave me. You look like a dancer. Who taught you? Mama. Daddy would never dance with her, so she used to swing me around the kitchen. She sounds like fun. Tail. And she ran out on us. Alright. Don't be. Well, then, where's she stay? Things got so bad for two years I didn't go to school. You look graduated. Right. A little late. But your asshole was going to that party. <laughs> your Uncle Charlie's your dad's brother. Right. He's helped me out a lot. Yeah, seems like a nice guy. Best one I know. Got one of the best jobs in town. Well, I heard you earned it. I've tried to. What about you? What do you do? I work in my daddy's clinic. Front office stuff is really not interesting. How'd you involve a snake? Uh, he asked me out. It's that easy. 
pretty much. We must get asked out a lot. Not really. It doesn't really seem like your type. Okay, and how do you know my type? Well, strange jackasses. Um, Daddy's list of approved colors isn't very long. Does he approve race car jobs? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna make me ask, aren't you? <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. Man, when did all that start? It started when you saw it. You better be careful. He's gonna run you into the wall again, Ty. Not if you fix it so I'm ahead of him. You know, my wife has your number on her car. No kidding. Yeah, we're rooting for you to go to the state championship. All right. Appreciate the support, man. Sure. You been calling her or what? Yeah, I've been calling her. What's her daddy think? I don't think she's told him yet. How's she going to go to the race with both of you there? My truck. Well, that's it. New carburetor. Ought to give us 40 more horsepower. All right. How much money we got left? Enough to buy a tank of gas and some peel-offs. Got to get some tires. Yep. Well, you think we've done all we can in the carburetor? Unless you got 1,200 more bucks for a TCC Custom. Yeah. What's Snake got? He's got a TCC Custom. And 1,200 more dollars, that's for sure. Well, just have to get a heavier foot. It's all you tonight. We got a new carburetor, suspension's dead on, and snakes at no show. Man, that pisses me off. I ain't complaining. Dude, this is our chance to catch up. He knows he can blow off an entire race and still roll out of here with more points than me. Man, if we win tonight, we're almost tied with you. Yeah, you're right. Let him get cocky him right on his ass. Can our local boy Ty Hargrove do it tonight? I think he might. Ladies and gentlemen, there doesn't look like there's much competition, and Snake Turner didn't even show up. Great. Oh, cool, partner. Are you with this loser, Becky? Oh, you got something you want to say to me? Huh? You bitch! Ty! Ty! Stop! 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 Stop!
stop. stop. No, leave it. Come on. Okay. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Knock it off. Stop. Come on, Play that way. Oh. Come on. Come on. You might have a slight concussion. Is that bad? He'll be okay. He needs to stay with us tonight. Let me have a word with you, Becky. What were you doing at the racetrack? That's what he does. I was with him. That might be what he does, but that's no place for a nice girl. Daddy, when you say nice, you mean rich. I mean nice. You're going to college next year. You're not going to work in a grocery store. It wasn't about you, Ty. That just isn't a place for Becky. I'll get it. You okay, man? Yeah. Take me home, man. You just go to the hospital tomorrow and have that checked out. Man, that was about me. What do you expect from a man like that? Hey, cuz, what's up? What's up, man? Looks like Dad's been a little rough on you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Let us go for that night. Be serious, though. So. Thought you were up at university, man. Uh, I have been. Um, I'm just in for a little bit. I was looking up there. Making a team or what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to do. I, I don't think I'm going to go to school if I can't play football. I mean, you can try and get on somewhere else, no? Yeah. We'll see. Anyway, I just wanted to stop by, see how things were going. Yeah, man. It's going all right. You know? Okay. Well, I'll see you around, man. Good seeing you, Frank. Thank you. All right. Okay. Come on in, Ty. I hear you're quite the attraction. Oh, well, you know, just a couple of us are local down there. Ah, uh, yeah. You heard? I heard. I can see, too. I might have messed up, sir. It happens. I could have helped this. Yeah. I hear you might even be going to state. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, even if I did, I'm not sure what I'd do about it. You know, I, we got responsibilities around here. I, can't just leave. Oh, uh, don't make me have to fire you. All of us will be waiting on you when you get back. I mean, shoot, this chair will be yours someday. I'm serious, you know, you're like a son to me. I've always felt that way. No different than my own kids. Thank you, sir. You still pulling that car around with that old 1500? Yes, sir. Well, sometimes. Uh, Lurby and I will switch out so we don't burn up our transmissions. Tell you what, why don't you, uh, why don't you take that old diesel? I know it's old, it's got about 250,000 miles on it, but she still runs good. Got a lot of power. With that old beast in the yard? Yeah. Uh, all right, thank you, sir. I'll get it cleaned up. What else do you need, son? Nah, we're all right. Uncle Charlie, we'll be Ty, just... what do you need? We need tires, sir. Is that all? Just need tires, sir. Why don't you go up to Sweats and pick out what you want and put it on the account, okay? Wow. Thank you, Uncle Charlie. I really appreciate it. You seen Frank? Yeah, I saw Frank. I don't know if he's going to turn out to be the big football star he thought he was going to be. I think he's a little bit embarrassed. You know, maybe he'll come back here and go to work for you. Uncle Charlie, I just want you to know that I appreciate any opportunity you have for me here. I just hope you know that. You just tell me what you want me to do. I want you to win that race, Ty. Yes, sir. Thank you. 
miss her. Hey. You trying to get me in trouble? No, I just want to see what all the talk is about. The big investment. Uh, did you have work? <laughs> no, we close at noon on Tuesdays. It's not much too much to see yet. Has my daddy stopped by to give you a hard time yet? No. Nah. Fire it. What time do you get up? About four o'clock. What do you usually do afterwards? Go home, work in my car. Every day. Yeah, pretty much every day. Well, what about today? What you got in mind? Let's go somewhere. What's your daddy get thinking about that? Shouldn't have said those things to you. Yeah, probably right, you know. You're going off to college and all. Well, I didn't say I wasn't going to college, but I'm not gone yet. Okay. I'll have to get cleaned up first. That's fine. You can just pick me up when you're done. Oh, we at your house? Sure. Why not? Okay. Daddy's at home, is No. But he will be when you drop me off. Charlie owns about 500 acres. And Daddy needs to come out and fish right here. Why not anymore? Daddy's not in real good health. So you tell Snake? <sighs> yeah. How do you take it? Not well. I just don't get it. Why Snake? I mean, of all the guys in town, It's a small town. A girl can have a little fun. I gotta tell you, act like I married him. It was nothing. Okay. Can you please, please, not think of anything about snake or racing for one night? Just one. I just know how I'm supposed to beat him. I mean, he's got everything money can buy. I mean, money gets you more horsepower. You know, more horsepower gets you up to the front. And not to mention, he's got a whole car dealership full of mechanics working for him. Full of tires. I mean, tires are probably the most important part. I mean, I can... Somebody shut off that loader for you, killed yourself in it. I told him to take me back to the office. They took me here anyway. Come on, Daddy. Not everyone can tell a difference between heat stroke and passed out drunk. I know. Well, how are we gonna pay for this? We'll be alright. 
Yet if somebody can keep a job or you smash down bourbon. We ain't got doctor insurance, man. Dang. Well, I mean, we got, what, 300 a month order on the office. Right? We got payments on the loader and the pit. I guess I can stop putting money into the car. Then you can just sit there and get pickled all day while I pay for everything. I guess I live there, too. You don't even talk like that, son. Don't make me think like that, Daddy. Dang, Daddy. You <laughs> look ridiculous. <laughs> get, get up. This place is too expensive to lie there and dry out. some heart attacks around here. <laughs> Whatever. So you have a number all over town. It's like you were Kyle Petty or something. What you know about Kyle Petty? Don't underestimate me, Tyler Hargrove. <laughs> I figure you did your shopping in the city. Family practitioners aren't exactly millionaires, Ty. All the money's in the specialty practices. Come on, it can't be that bad. You got some pretty nice stuff. Yeah, no, it's not that bad. But with college expenses coming up, it doesn't hurt to be frugal. Ooh, hey, look. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I think you look good in anything. Thank you. This thing's fine. How long did he say you could keep it for? I don't know. He said he didn't need it. Dang, man. Hey, how long you got for lunch? The shrimp basket is grilling. About an hour. And frying the absolute best is that going to give us enough time to get these tires and take them back to your place? Man, if we just got enough time to buy them, throw them in the truck, and stare at them a little bit, that'll be enough for me. Thanks, Betsy. Good luck tomorrow night, Ty. Bring it the whole family. Thank you, Mr. Chase. We put your car magnet on. Thank y'all for supporting me. I really appreciate that. Go get him, Ty. Thank you, sir. You're like a dang movie star. Come on, man. Huh? 
Oh yeah, that's the one. Oh, look here. Hi, Levy. Hey, Becky. Yeah. Some dream about engines the day we were born. I'm telling you, Ty, it ain't shiny, but it might be as good. Well, so what, you think you can beat Snake now? He said it might be as good, not as good. What's Snake's real name? Well, I don't know. But you went out with them. <laughs> okay, so I forgot to ask. <laughs> I hate calling him that. It's like agreeing with him that he's good. Right? <laughs> I love he can do magic with an engine. Now, he squeezed out every last bit of horsepower possible. If we ever had a chance to be a snake, we got it now. It's a long shot. I don't know. See if I need. They do bad gas. It's bad gas. We're on the same tank all night. You boys having car trouble? You make a car run. Yeah, I, I said something to Sherry. I want to kill him. You think you did it? If he did, we could get him disqualified. Can't prove nothing. Let's get back on the trailer. We gotta get back in the race. We ain't in the race, Larvy! What are you doing? I'm waiting on him. He's on the winner's block, man. Gotta come this way eventually, don't he? Come on, you're just gonna get us all kicked out of here. I can't let this go, man. Yeah, you can. I got a better idea. What? Come on, follow me to the car. What, man? Come on! Just sit down and cool off. It's better be good, man. Turn one, Ty. You can spin him on turn one. What are you talking about, man? I'm talking about Snake. I watched him race tonight, and he almost lost it on turn one. He still won, didn't he? Well, yeah, but he's slow through the turns and fast in the straightaways. Two times, Ike Smith was right on his tail and slid past him. Snake got nervous and almost lost it for no reason. Don't you see? No, Lurvy, he still won. What are you trying to say? Snake's fast, but he can't handle the pressure. When you're fast, you don't have pressure. You can beat him on the turns. With these tires, hell, you can even get low on turn three. This car's perfect. Yeah, except it doesn't run. Hell with that. I can clean out the bad gas. You're ready to go again in no time. Son of a bitch. Why don't you just ask her to dance? Who? Sherry. Oh, Sherry. You won't ask her. Why not? I don't know. Why not, man? Well, I just thought... I don't know. Will you talk to her enough? You might as well, right? She's right there, man. Go ask her. Go ask her, man. Okay. Okay. 
I will. Huh. You seem distracted tonight. Think? I'm sorry. You still have a chance, don't you? Statistically, yes, but realistically, it's over. Come on, all you have to do is win next weekend. Snake can't do any better in third place. It's two things I've never seen happen. Well, I think you can do it. Still as an astronaut. You're no fun tonight. Sorry. It's more out and pissed off. Want to get out of here? Do this another night? Sure. I'll walk you to the car. Hey, Blake. Hey, Ty. Man, I am sorry about last night, man. Yeah. What happened? Car trouble, man. Well, you still got a shot, though, right? Yeah, it's not looking good, you know. It's a long shot. Oh, come on. There's always next year. Right. I mean, you think about it. Right now, you, you have an incredible job, the most awesome sponsor. Dude, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, probably right, man. I appreciate it. Thanks, brother. Have a good one, man. How much he meant to you. You'd think it would have been me to have a heart attack. It ain't right. I don't want to talk about it, Dad. All right?
Yeah, you might as well get started. <laughs> Don't hold back on count of me. Put that down. Put it down. It ain't right. You're too damn drunk to go see him. What I got now, Daddy? Daddy, what I got now? Hey, Ty. Hey, Frank. Hey, Paula. Just thought I'd come by and see if there's anything I can do. I, I don't know what all this is, Ty. He always took care of everything in Sam. You know that. Customers are calling, asking me questions. La Fleming called. Wants to know what's going on at the concrete plant. Well, isn't there like a manual or handbook or something? Look, you guys get with Cindy on all the office procedures, all right? I'll take care of everything outside the office. The yard, everything else. Tell Dr. Fleming to come see me. All right? You want me to go out there with you? I'll go out there with you. Sure, man. Come on. You like to make a sandwich? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. It's become a habit. <laughs> Come on, Frank. Ty. Thank you for everything. You're welcome, ma'am. At least I could do. Come on, Frank. Yeah. All right. Goodbye, sweetheart. I can do it. What a mess. Uncle Charlie meant a lot around here. He'll come through for him. Who's in charge now? I guess Frank. I mean, at this place. I don't plan on quitting. We're going to stay on schedule? Unfortunately, we had to miss a day for the funeral. Yeah. All right. Ready to lay in the bottom line. I'm really sorry, Ty. How are you? I'm better. Thought he said you're in charge now? I guess for now I am, yeah. You'll be okay, Ty. I won't be crap. The only guy who gave me a chance is dead. You'll be all right, though. What you doing coming around here, anyway? I came to see you. Your daddy was right. Okay, you out of league with me. Why don't you stop messing with my head? I don't need it. That's not fair, Ty. Fair? Fair's in your life, not mine. 
I gave you a chance. Where the hell you been, man? How do I get into this thing? Oh, Daddy must have locked All right, look, go find me a crowbar, and then let's go over everything again. And no, Saturday, forget all that, Lurvy. That's done, man. What are you talking about? The championship's in two days, What's man. What's the point, man? Even if we win, which we won't, we can't make it to Phoenix City. It costs money, Lurvy. Fuel, hotels, crew. I know. We got God. none of it. You got money for gas, hotel rooms, crew? Do you? No, that ain't gonna happen, is it? We ain't got the goddamn entry fee. Just forget it, man. Listen, Ty, I'm sorry about Uncle Charlie. I really am, but you can't just come in here and quit on us. I'm tired, man. I'm tired of trying. All right, I'm done with this. We're done with this. Okay, fine. If you can find me a key to this thing, you're gonna feel I real told bad. you it's over! I'm gonna do my part. Forget Phoenix City. We could at least win locals. All right, I'm just gonna get it on out there for everybody to see. I don't want nobody saying I didn't do my part. I do what I say I'm gonna do. Ah, excuse me. Ma'am. Alabama Utility wants to know if their order's ready. Yeah, it's uh, bundled up on the back lot. Thank you. Hey, Aunt Paula. You know there's a radio inside. You can use the call down here. You have to keep coming out. I'll have to remember that. Right. Maybe I just wanted to get out. You don't look so good. I'll be all right. We both will. Won't we? Yes, ma'am. You're just fine. Thank you, Tom. Hey, Ty. Hey, man. Hey, do you still have the keys to this truck? Yeah. Cool. Um, can I just get them back from you? I'm, I'm trying to get everything sure, together. Yeah, man, here. it's your truck. Yeah. I'll just grab a ride from uh, Reed. Yeah, you're done with it, right? Cheers, man. Thanks. All right, brother. Hey, where's Ty? 
He ain't coming. What? Look, you tell anybody who asks, I was here and I had it ready. What happened? I don't know, Sherry. He just messed up. Look, you better go back in the stands before they close the gate on you. Your daddy said you'd be here. Larry came by my house before the race. You're dragging that thing out there. Says he is. You know, he also says you're not going. That's right. You know Uncle Charlie would want you to. You know, Ty, there's two kinds of people in the world. People that watch things happen and the people that make them happen. I thought that was you. I thought you were the one to say to hell with the cards I'm dealt, I'm making my own way and anyone who wants to go with me. You know, my daddy's taking me to the race tonight. I even got him believing in you. What do I say to him now? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Deep South Speedway. We're about to rock and roll in a country sort of way. And if you're lucky, you'll get dirty. And first place in the modifieds go to Jimmy Hacker out of Gainesville. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the event we've all come here for, the Street Stock Championship. But I'm sorry to say that Ty Hargrove is not in the outfield. He's cutting it off a close, isn't he? Well, if you're ever looking to join a winning team... I ain't looking. If you change your mind... Get in here! You're dead, man, Argo! You're dead! She said you were coming. I didn't believe her. You got it ready? Hell yeah, I got it ready. Hey, remember, turn one. I remember. Hey, I'm sorry, man. It's all right, man. Come on. Oh, uh, she said to give you this when you got here. Knock him dead. Well, tonight's the night, folks. Defending champion Snake Turner takes on local celebrity Ty Hargrove for the Newberry Automotive Cup and a ticket to the state championship in Phoenix City.
Turner keeps the lead, but Kyle Hargrove's right in his backyard. Pressure on him, Ty. You got it. Smith moves into the second. What an upset! are known for making stupid investments. I hope this isn't one of them. Are you serious? I guess I can trust you with my money. I can trust you with my daughter. I think you got that backwards, but the math still works. I was wrong. I admit it. You make us proud of the state. What about the pole mill? It'll wait on you. Oh, yeah, we're going to... <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.